Hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna show y'all my project boat that me and my family's gonna start. Um, got the trailer here, and uh, it's a pro craft. And uh, this is the condition it in when I bought it. It wasn't much, so um, trolling motor don't supposed to be that old. Um, inside is fairly clean. You know, we get the carpet cleaned up in here, replace whatever we need to do. Got you a spot right here for seat in the middle gonna use it for fishing clean up the glass and everything that's on here change out these boards down here uh, possibly even get it painted upholstery the seats um, it's a 1988 oh my year. pro craft 1988 pro craft so I'm look real excited of having a boat project for me to start on um, get back here got me a battery for everything that's in here trolling motor battery the sps over there chart i'm getting it charged up but i haven't quite seen why it's not working yet we have a mercury x r4 black max motor outboard motor back here 150 horsepower stainless steel prop quick silver laser 2 I got a backup one just in case it's needed. And uh, this is what we're looking at here. Got three seats. I'm gonna probably add a little bit more, take away some. You never know how it goes. Gas go here. Tires went too bad when I got them as well. They just need to be inflated. Threads on them are pretty good. Clean it up, repaint the trailer a little bit. Definitely need to pressure wash this or whatever I'm gonna do. I'll figure it out at some point. Cup holders right here in the middle. Cup holders right there to the left, to the right. Look at that, got a cigarette lighter spot. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get rid of that. There ain't no point of having it. I'm gonna figure something else out with it because I ain't no need it. Ain't no put nothing in there. Six persons, 750 pounds capacity. 1,325 pounds person motors gear. 150 horsepower motor. This is what the dash look like. Well, back here on the other side of the boat, have a glove compartment box pretty much right in here. I ain't much in there. You gonna do a little bit of storage. I'm gonna change this handle out. I wanted to look more kind of modern to what we looking at towards nowadays. Oh well, let's get on the inside <clears throat> and see what's going on in here. <clears throat> Oh man. Ah. Well, got her some live well in here. Pretty good size. Throw some fish up in there. Got a little, I believe that's a little plug in it. I'm not familiar with boats, but hey, we all gonna learn together. Yep, pretty much put that in there. Stop it up. Then you clamp that in. Pretty much holds that in place. I don't know what this is yet, but we'll figure it out. I'm learning. I'm learning. Just the same as everybody else. Look, they even got me a little thing up here to tell me what size my fish is. Complete Tackle Shop. Delonica Drive in Riverdale, Georgia. Fresh, salt, and fly fishing. Artificial and live bait. Hunting and outdoor. Nice, real rods. Stock custom and repairs. The seats can be moved. Oh, this seat needs some work on it. Or either replace. This seat seems pretty much fine. It don't fold or go up or down or nothing. This seat is in good condition, actually. So this one that I'm going to have to work on 
get it started up if I can. But we'll see about that later. Go down here, see this console. That spot right there, my wife thought it was a snake. She thought it was a huge python. I found it funny, it's crazy. It was very funny. But I wanna get that cleaned out. It looked like he left some oars in here. Some paddles. Stuck on down in there. But we'll we'll clean this out a little bit too. Carpet's coming off a little bit. I'll get some stuff, tack that up, make that look all nice. Two more cup holders up here in the front. Nice little spot. Got to figure out how the rail I want to set up with fire extinguishers and all that tackle, tackle stuff. Look at that. I got look like a nest in there almost. A little bird nest thing or something. Let's see if we can get a better view. There ain't nothing in there so far to know of. But it sure does look like a nest, don't it? Bird, maybe, or something. Oh, did we see this little spot right here? Oh, look at that. Get in there. We got some water. I think I know where that other plug is at. It's going to go right there. Look, it's dark in there, ain't it? Dark. Clean it up. It don't look too bad. Got some little... Tap bows in there, not tap bows, what you call it? Mosquito larvae, probably. Got a little latch, I like that. Here we go over here. This is all dry right here, that's good. Carpet it out. Clean out everything in here, too. Another good spot to store stuff, or maybe I could fit in there. I'm joking, I'm joking. But hey, this is wood, I could cut that out. Put a hinge back on it. Or just change out the carpet on it. It'll come out looking real nice. Piece of wood on the trolling motor. Pedal over here. Get that changed on out. Stand up here. Yeah. It's not working at the moment. But... Well, guys, I'm on the back of it, sitting here on the back top of the live well. Just giving you a better view of what it looked like if you were from over here. Captain's chair, I guess you'll call it. Get over here. Nice little spot over there. So it's a good size boat. Don't weigh that much. I'll be able to pull it. Gauges over here. I'm going to see about changing those knobs. Is it possible? I'm figure something out about it. Clean them up, repaint them. I'll do something about it, don't worry about it. Oh yeah, I gotta sand down that wheel or either get another one if possible. Shouldn't be too hard to change out a wheel. We are gonna see, I got a lot of work to do. Searching up on Google, YouTube, studying. But we'll see if we get this baby in working order. All right, I'll see y'all next time. I'm gonna start a clean up on this pine straw and everything on here break out the pressure washer see what i can get cleaned off of here and make this thing start looking like something all right let's see i'm gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit of this buying straw so it's gonna get a little rainy but i feel like just doing a little something today it ain't gonna be that big of a deal just you see they've been sending it out without a cover i'm gonna get a cover for this thing a little bit at a time it'll make it to somewhere right kind of feel like you know what most people do with cars <clears throat> you know they get themselves an old car they'll fix it all up but i've been having a dream about doing this to a boat i wanted to build a sailboat when i was younger So you want to say it's a dream come true, but we're going to get something new later on in the future. But I do want one of those classic looking old boats, make it look good. Kind of feel like you're going to go to a, what do you call it, car show or something like that. Look at that, nice thing that it pulls out. Easy to dump this out. I think it had screws in it. Let's check. 
Don't really reach your hand all in something and you don't know what's in there. That's how you get bit with something. Spiders, maybe. All right. Let's get on over here. Do the same thing to this one. Ah, it's stuck in there. Or maybe I'm pulling it out wrong. All right, there we go. Get that thrown, thrown overboard, guys. Thrown overboard. Yeah. Oh, my God. Excuse my legs and my action. I just got off work. Ah. Let's get rid of these big chunks of hay. A lot of it blew off doing transport. When I was riding, I kind of wish more of it blew off. But that, and that would have called for a longer drive, right? It was about, what, three miles away from the house. About four or five max, five max. Look, I think you ran wires up here and I don't think it was ever used. I'm gonna have to figure out what the world, where, the, where, the, where the world they go. Oh my God. Get on your hands and knees. Gotta work, gotta work. I could break a vacuum out here as well. But that's gonna be later. I'm just doing a little bit. I hate sticking my hands in places where I don't really see things. <laughs> just imagine the snake getting to me. Look at that, let's take a look at the bottom. What it looks like guys don't look too rusty possible clean up some terminals get them all looking nice and clean replacing the wires as needed like this left piece right here they go up there but i prefer to change that out if needed well it is going to be needed different color would be nice Uh, let me get over here. See about this side as well. Let's get some of this side of it. Oh. There you go. Dumping out another one. This one got screws in. All right, guys. This is part one of the video. Uh, come back and you'll see part two and uh, hopefully a whole lot more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell button below. Thank you guys.